Okay. To uh, open up a text file or a, a text document, uh, well, first off, I'll explain uh, some of the terms I'm going to use. Uh, you're probably pretty familiar with your mouse. Um, when I say to click, it means to tap and or press your finger down on the left side button of your mouse so that the button goes down and then let go of the button. Um, you click, uh, you can relocate your cursor uh, to anywhere that you want uh, in the text file or the uh, RTF file or the Word file. Um, to right click, uh, you uh, it means to uh, tap and or press your finger down on the right side button on your mouse so that the button goes down and then let go of the button. Uh, you do that to select uh, something and create a uh, to go to the menu uh, that's under it. I'm not sure how to explain that, but uh, but uh, when I say right click, I'll also explain what uh, what it's going to be doing at that point. So maybe that'll be a little better explanation or description. When I say double click, if I say double click, um, you may or may not have any experience with that. Uh, to double click is to press the left side mouse button down twice rapidly and then let go. As an example, you might do this on an icon or a shortcut on your desktop to open a file, a folder, or a picture, or when in a word or text document to select and highlight a single word, uh, like that. So, those are a couple of terms I might use. So, anyway, uh, on our desktop here, we will right click and then select new and then go down to text document. Now that will create a document on your uh, desktop or if you're in a folder, it'll uh, create it in the folder that you're in. Um, at this point, you would uh, name your text file or you could name it later, but I'm gonna name this right now. Uh, we'll name it uh, letter. And then, oh, I guess I will double click. <laughs> so double click is uh, tapping twice rapidly with the left mouse button. And that opens that up. Uh, you can double tap uh, or double click on the top bar here and it will expand to full page. Just like that. So a text file is uh, a file where you can uh, type um, letters, characters, uh, uh, punctuations, pretty much anything that you want to type, but it does it in the uh, just about the most simplest uh, formatting. Um, with some other word processors, you can do formatting like bold or italics or uh, um, underlining, and uh, I'll show you that in a little bit, but in a text file, you can't do any of that. All you can do is type. So I'm going to type a little bit here. This is an example, oops, example of a simple text line. So as you can see, it's it's just basic black um, against a white screen, and uh, all this is you can't change any of the formatting on here in uh, in a text file. You can do a few different things, uh, saving. Um, yeah, of course you can edit the text. Uh, you can replace text, but you'll have to go in and explore uh, to take uh, to, to get a better idea of uh, what you can do in a text file. Um, if I wanted to uh, go in and edit something and change, I would go and uh, I could either double click like I did before, or you could just click and hold and then drag across the word that you want to change and then type something different. And it's, it's pretty much simple. Um, but this, uh, this uh, tutorial isn't really looking uh, to explain everything you can do in a text file. It's just to tell you what, what a text file is uh, in its very simplest form. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and get out of that. Now, uh, an RTF file, 
um, is a little more complex uh, in the way that you can uh, do more with it. So you would uh, right click. <coughs> sorry about that. Right click on your desktop and then go to new and then uh, rich text document, which is what uh, um, which is what I'm referring to when I say an, RT an RTF file. Sorry, that's my phone. And so we create that. And uh, you can name it anything you want. I'm not going to name that right now. But uh, you can bring it up. And as you can see, it looks vaguely similar to a text file, but a little more complicated. Um, now I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to bring up... Uh, the file I had before because it's a little bit simpler to, uh, to do rather than typing a whole bunch of stuff out. Um, for example, you can apply uh, formatting such as you can apply bold. Uh, you can uh, use italics which just means to lean it a little bit to the right. And you can bold. You can do more than one formatting. You can uh, uh, in fact, you can even do three. Um, underlining is drawing a text below the text, or drawing a line below the text. Uh, so you can do a, a lot of stuff with that. You can even uh, change the color if you want to, like to uh, red. So there's a lot of formatting that you can do with an RTF uh, file. And uh, it, it's really quite handy to have that. Uh, and you can do it with a lot of word processors, uh, word processing programs nowadays. So you can do it with Word, uh, which has even more formatting than a, a WordPad uh, uh, created file. Um, but uh, that is basically one of the many differences uh, between a text file and an RTF file. Okay. To... Uh, 